Hey guys, how is it going? Jackadunga here, and I'm here to present this amazing victory by Forever, pulling out the victory against Immoral Thieves, 110 to 110, uh, picking them off on the total destruction. It's nice to see total destruction going our way for once, and we beat Immoral Thieves top of the division, managing to take them down. What a war it was. As you can see, Rach picking up that final triple to secure it. But look how many attacks coming in in the last minute. Six or seven coming in. It was a real nail biter. What a performance though from the Buy Forever guys. As usual, dips were superb. They were also as equal to that. It was really the 10v10s, which is quite unusual. We usually get about four or five, maybe three sometimes, uh, but only two each. And Immoral Thieves especially are very good at the 10v10 game. So it was really that which made it uh, a low scoreline. But by Forever, going to make sure that they do qualify for the playoffs. Six wins, five losses. What a performance by the team. We will start off in true fashion by uh, showcasing Scab, who uh, is very lucky because he's going to appear in the VM and the BFE war, but he's just such a good attacker. Look at this funnel he's creating with this, which we're going to start us off with this 10v11 attempt. I haven't been seeing much of these on the channel, but I thought we'd uh, get one in uh, just to uh, show this amazing queen walk, which is coming around here going to make this nice funnel. Uh, it's going to be the key of dropping these troops to make sure that they actually don't go around the base. Going to drop them closer to this south uh, eastern part of the base towards this elixir collector, making sure they don't go to the barracks. Uh, not everything's going to funnel though. Only one Valk is going to not funnel into the base. Uh, a bit of a rogue Valk uh, decides that she likes the look of the army camp better than this core. There she goes. But look at this push she's getting through this base. It's quite a weird entry to think that the town hall is actually closer to this northwestern part of the base, but still going to get the job done. Going to be a little bit clutch, though. We're going to see here as uh, some of the bowlers decide to walk towards enemy queen. But the bowlers are going to take off this Inferno Tower, going to uh, make sure the Town Hall does uh, reduce its hit points just that little bit. Uh, bowler's going to take out a few more troops, but look at the Queen. Queen going to pick off the Lava Hounds. It's only going to be her left up already at 60% and she's just going to clutch the town hall. Look at this, the eagle artillery firing down on her but uses that ability just in time making sure queen doesn't go down and with a sliver of health she's going to take out that town hall just in time and it's going to be a 62% 2 star. Very nicely done to scab. Clutch effort picking off this first 2 star. Now we're going to make our way on to the 10v10s. We're going to start off with Matt uh, picking up another one of his 10v10s here. Didn't have one last week, but luckily he's going to come in here on Joe Mama here with the uh, triple. Going to be a similar attack to the one shown in VM here. Uh, going to uh, start off here. Going to... Uh, start with a bitch attack and going to attach those two healers to this left hand side of the base due to these air defenses being on the right hand side nice funnel being created and a nice jump spell going to funnel his troops directly into this core compartment towards that inferno tower making sure it goes down nice standard funnel here matt's going in very nicely indeed uh, core being absolutely wrecked here, uh, loads of bowlers going in and a nice funnel being created, uh, making sure that these uh, troops do go straight through this core. Still got king and queen left, saving this heal actually for this back end just in case it is picked off by a black SAM. SAM? Black Sam seeking air mine. I don't know what I call it, why I called it an SAM. Uh, but these archers will pick off these final collectors. King's going to head over towards Inferno Tower. Queen actually going to pick it off in the end. But it is going to be a triple copious amounts of troops left up. Really, really nicely done to him picking off these final defences and eventually clinching that third star. And as Queen makes her way, uh, taking out these final defences, uh, going to take out the Town Hall as well. We will move on to the next 10v10, and it's going to be BJM. Going to go in on the number base, uh, number base 20, uh, I believe. Uh, unfortunately, these witches are taking a bit longer than I suspected to actually take out these final defences. We'll times it to four, so we get through it. Uh, yeah, BJM on number 20, I was correct. And he's going to come in with a Lalo. Oh yes, this is this is one of the sexiest attacks I've seen all of the wars. This queen charge is one of the best I've ever seen. You'll see what I mean. Here comes the queen on this uh, south compartment. And you'll never guess where she ends. She's going to just take out so much of this base. Absolutely tons of it. And he's going to pick off this triple here with uh, quite a little bit of ease as you will see by the end. But queen going to make her way anti-clockwise around this base. Clockwise in fact. Uh, I do know how a clock works. 
as these cannons are taken out very shortly. Uh, there goes that army camp as well and the baby dragon doing a nice job of funneling those troops and here comes the king the king's going to funnel this western side of the base going to take out collectors bomb towers etc and here comes the first wall break you're going to see a double wall break involved in this attack uh, starting off there with that first wall break on that southwestern wall going to drop the rage making sure she does not die to the balloon and uh, that lava hound will go down taking out all of those pups King done a nice job of funneling the queen towards this second air defense here. Going to take that down now. And then here comes the next wall break, which is going to be even more uh, sexy than the first wall break. Going to open the queen up into this next compartment. And she's going to take out even more of this base with the help of another rage. There goes those wizard towers. And she's going to head towards enemy queen. Take that out. And she's even going to pick up that first inferno tower as well. Uh, and as you can see, balloons here uh, out of the clan castle are going to take out that inferno tower very easily indeed. Due to the fact that they are part straight towards it. Uh, Queen going to take out that Inferno Tower now and this Lalo portion is just going to be fairly easy for him because he's done so much work at the beginning. I'm uh, going to drop that Rage down uh, to tear through these Wizard Towers and Teslas and eventually that last air defense will go down and eventually the base will fall. Uh, only got that Arch Tower left in the north and has got plenty of cleanup. But look at this, a Swagged Town Hall 10 spell. Like to see that, a swag Town Hall 10 spell. Very, very nice attack here. One of the best attacks I've seen all of the wars. Really nicely done to BJM here, picking up the second and final 10v10. And as he swags the rage over the Immoral Thieves clan castle, we will go on to the 9v9s. I've got two for you today. I'm going to start off with, I've forgotten who it is. I need to check my notes. It is going to be number 26. It's going to be Hotard, of course. Hotar going to come in with his famous hog attacks. Uh, really, really nice queen. We're going to be a bit unorthodox, actually, uh, with the start of this raid. Going to funnel the north side with a few wizards, and queen is going to come in here. But king and bowlers are actually going to uh, come in from this top end, and the queen will join in with the kill squad after she takes out these gold storages. And a nice jump spell is going to make sure these king and bowlers take out these three wizard towers, getting a nice bit of value. The jump spell actually going over the expo compartment as well, making sure those expos go down because uh, expos are generally a pain in every raid. Queen still alive, just about. Healers helping her out here. And the bowlers have taken out enemy queen and the Clark Castle troops as well with the help of a little poison spell. And look how much of this base is already down. Hotar will stick, uh, trickle in his first pack of hogs though uh, towards this Tesla farm which seems to be emerging here on this south part of the base, southwest in fact. Nice heal spell taking out all of those defences. Heading towards the cannon and arch tower compartments. Still got a heal left in the bag which he will need actually due to the fact that these giant bombs will pop up between the mortar and the cannon here. Nice heal spell going to make sure these final hogs do uh, crash through these final defences and in fact king is not going to be a problem. King and queen still left at full health as well. So a very nice hog attack showing us how it's done. Very nicely done to Hotard here picking it up in this first town hall 9 triple. And with cleanup just finishing, we're going to go on to the final attack and the final 9v9. And of course, who are we going to end it on? We're going to end it on Stormborn. And unfortunately, he's just come up with another amazing attack where he doesn't use anything. Uh, you will see what I mean here. He's going to come in with his famous Lalo and going to absolutely melt this base. I'm um, going to start off here with a wizard and he's going to actually use a bit of a suicide queen here. Well, you'll see how he attacks this base slightly uh, differently uh, to how you would probably attack this base. Going to start off with a giant, going to do a little bit of tanking for his baby dragon and queen. And the queen and baby dragon are going to create this funnel as well as picking off these arch towers and these wizard towers here. And actually an air defense as the queen makes her way downwards. But you will see here, queen's going to head over and take out this gold storage. And it's going to be untargeted, which means queen can clear a few of these storages up. There we go. Uh, she stupidly stands by the cannon, but she's going to take out that first air defense very nicely indeed. But look at this. He's going to put this jump spell in and the king and the bowlers are going to take out all those heroes, clan castle troops and the wizard towers. Really, really nice attack this one. Despite the double wall, not going to risk the double wall break. He's going to go in and smash this base to bits. Uh, looks like the king and the bowlers doing a nice job of going 
uh, taking out these wizard towers and eventually that um um, what is it called? A queen. Of course it's called a queen. I mean, you're talking about queens all day. And then there goes down that king. And the Lava Hound's going to stay alive. But Lava Hounds can't do much against Alalo. And you'll see, he's not going to need to use any of his spells, as maybe some of you predicted. He's going to come in and take out these two air defences. And eventually that last air defence in the west. Got a few Teslas up as well. Uh, but look at that. The balloons just melting through these defences. I'm going to take out these Teslas, air defences, and that final expo. And then it's going to create a little bit of a pretty pattern with his five spell slots, uh, which he has left, which he doesn't need. So uh, Stormborn, in Stormborn fashion, going to pick up the last Town Hall 9 triple. Really nicely done to him. And of course, this will pick up the Town Hall 9 triple of the week. And as he creates this elliptical fashion, I do wait because I'm not sure when he's going to drop and swag the spells, but he does wait till the very end. Uh, look at that. We're going to zoom in on it. Look at that. Nice five spell pattern. We are going to end this recap. I hope you did enjoy, guys. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more similar content, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.